Hi and welcome. My name is Erna and you have found your way here to Erna Fit, my online world of virtual fitness classes. Today we're going to do a 25 minute upper body workout which I call a flash class. All that you need are a, hand, a set of handheld weights, dumbbells, as well as a mat. Have those nearby, we'll be utilizing those today in our class. Um, have a sweat towel, maybe a water bottle as well, and some nice clear space. Please do move and do the exercises that feel best to you. Modify any movements that you need. Feel free to take progressions, make it harder as you need, and definitely do whatever gets you closer to your goals today. Let's go ahead and get started. For our warm up, just have some empty available space. We'll take three minutes here to warm up the body and get ready to go. Bring your feet apart, take a nice big breath in. Exhale, bring those arms down. Let's do this again. You'll see a timer here in your lower right hand corner. Roll the wrists as you bring it down. So that way you know, take the arms up, roll those wrists, how much time we have in each particular interval. Today's workload is three blocks of work. In each block, we have three exercises. Stretch your arms wide. Touch your shoulders, reach your arms out. In each block of work, we'll do three exercises and we'll do two rounds of those exercises. The first round, our exercises will be 30 seconds long. The second round is 60 seconds, as well as options for progression or additional variations in those movements. Great job. Two more. From here, bring your hands up overhead. Give yourself a nice reach up. Fingertips reach for the ceiling. Keep your knees soft and the abdominals in nice and tight as you stand up tall. Great job. Two more. One more. Keep your arms overhead. Lower your left arm. Stretch. Bring the hands to center and switch. Reach up and down as you lengthen through your side body here. Nice job. One more time, each side. Then from here, bring your hands to the center. Rotate side to side. Lift up your back heel. Keep the abs in nice and tight and the chest lifted. Good. From here, roll the shoulders up and back as you continue to rotate. One more time each side. Pause here, heels planted. Rotate the upper body. Reach one more arm across the body at a time. Good, ground down into the heels. Keep your hips anchored in one spot. And reach, two more. From here, take both arms out and cross. Give yourself a slight edge of momentum as you bring your arms and cross one arm over the other at the center of your chest and then switch. Good, keep the arms soft, the elbows nice and loose. Two more, pause here with the arms outstretched, roll those thumbs down, push them towards the lower back. Good, take the arms forward, round the back. Inhale, take the arms up, bring the elbows slightly back here and then take that round position again. One more time, up and open. Our first exercise today is a plank walkout. Let's go ahead and get started. Feet hip distance apart. Take a soft bend in the knees. As you exhale, bring your hands to the mat. Walk out. Stop when your shoulders are over your wrists. And then one hand at a time, walk back. Bring your hands to your legs. Take your time as you walk your arms out. Brace your core. And then make sure you purposely place one hand at a time. We have about 10 seconds left to go. After this, we'll take a brief 15 second break to reset for the next exercise. Three, two, one. Nice job. Bring yourself back up and in. Shake out the wrist. Pick up your dumbbells. We have shoulder raises here. We'll begin with our feet, hip distance apart, soft knees, arms slightly bent, chest lifted. Begin. 30 seconds here. Draw the arms up and out to the side, but keep that lift, shoulder height or lower. And I want you to go a pace that's best for you. Today's work is all timed intervals, so it doesn't really matter how many lifts you get, how many repetitions you do, as long as you work 
to that point of exhaustion for yourself. Go a pace that is rhythmic and settling for you. Go ahead and pause right there. Our next exercise is a bicep curl. Pretty basic exercise. The bicep curl, palms will face forward, thumbs rotated out. Keep a little squeeze of the shoulder blades together behind you. Feet hip distance apart, knees soft, begin. 30 seconds here. We wanna keep the elbows pointed straight down and a nice loose finger grip on your dumbbells. Be careful that we don't allow the arms to move forward and backwards. Great. So we're almost done with this first block of work, or excuse me, the first round of work in our first block. We're going to get set for our second round in three, two, one. Let's take a 20 second break. Now in this second round, we're adding in another 30 seconds, but in this time we're progressing slightly. With our plank walkouts, you have the option to add a push up and then walk back. All right, three, two, one, let's begin. Now with your push-up, you can perform your push-up with your knees off the floor, or if you would like a little bit more stability and support, place one or two knees down and then perform your push-up, lift your knees up, and then walk your hands back in. I like to just bring the hands back to the thighs instead of resetting and standing all the way up. Keep the belly pulled in. That will help reset your spine there. And then continue the workload. Of course, it's up to you. If you prefer, you can bend your knees to come down and then bend your knees on the way back. If you're noticing a little bit of a pull in the hamstrings, this can help immensely and make it feel a little bit more comfortable for you. This exercise works the chest, the shoulders, the arms, and the core. Oh, three, two, one. Nice job. Reset it, friends, reset it. Let's go ahead and pick up the dumbbells again. We've got that lateral raise for the shoulders, but this time we're adding a front raise. So two, vari or two uh, methods of movement. Start with the side raise, and then thumbs point to the sky, bring the arms forward. We have one full minute of these exercises here. Now modification, if this perhaps feels a little bit too intense, cut it in half. Do one arm lift at a time. Maybe omit that front raise. Perhaps it's not necessary or needed for you today. This is a great option here. Do continue to keep the abdominals pulled in tight and stand up tall. Lift up through the crown of your head and really ground your feet into the floor. Maintain that nice soft grip on your handheld weights and breathe. Really important there. Looks good. Keep working until the end. We have three, two, and one. Awesome job. Go ahead and shake out those arms, roll out those wrists, open and close those palms. This, the last exercise in our first block is a bicep curl. This time we'll add in a hammer curl. So turn your palms up, feet hip distance apart. We'll begin with the bicep curl, pause at the bottom, turn the thumbs up, and then do a hammer curl, and then go back to that bicep curl. So take your time to get that full rotation at the bottom. So your palms properly face the correct direction. The palms go from facing upward to inward. And that rotation happens in the shoulder, right? Not just the elbow. So you want to make sure you get that opening here in the chest. Let that rotation happen here. Really good. Stand up tall. You can always modify. Bring your feet a little closer together. This narrows your base of support, challenges the stability of your ankles, knees, and hips and create a little bit more stress for the core. All good stuff. We have five seconds remaining. Three, two, one. Nice job, friends. Go ahead, set that down. Give the arms a little bit of a shake. We're gonna be hitting the deck here for our next exercise. And you have 20 seconds left of rest. Let me show you what this looks like. It's called a break dancer. Hands under shoulders, knees under hips. So we'll start here. 
You'll turn to your left. Left hand comes up, right leg extends across the body. Come back to the center. And then switch directions. All right? At, at one point, um, one hand, one foot are on the floor. So let's start here. 30 seconds. Right hand stays down. Right foot kicks across. And then switch. So there's a little bit of stability here. A little bit of coordination. Do make sure your back foot turns downward. So you're balancing either on the inner arch of the foot or you can turn the entire sole of your foot down to the, the floor. Squeeze your belly. Three, two, one. Nice work. Give that a shake. And let's go ahead and get going. Pick up those dumbbells for bent over rows. This time feet will be a little wider than hip distance. Tip forward at the, the hips and then begin by pulling your arms back. Do ensure your toes point forward and ahead. Press your hips back, lift your chest forward. Create a nice long flat spine. Draw your navel in tight. And as you bend your elbows and pull the weights to your side body, squeeze your back. Yes, you've got it. Three, two, one, and release. You'll need one weight for this one. If you have a lighter set of dumbbells, you can use both of them. Overhead triceps, so take your dumbbell over your head, elbows pull in slightly, feet hip distance apart. Straighten and bend your arms here. I'm gonna turn just a little bit to the side. You wanna lift up through the chest. Bring that weight down behind the back of your head right in line with your ponytail, the midline of your body. Pull your chin up slightly so you're looking straight forward. Three seconds, two seconds, one, and release. Go ahead, bring that weight down. 20 second break, roll out the wrist, shake out the arms, break dancers again. So in this variation for the second round, check it out. You bring your right leg across, this time the leg lifts. Instead of bringing the left hand in, touch your foot. That's the option. One full minute, friends, let's begin. So here's your option for our six, 60 second round. Hand and foot connect here at the side of your body. The first option, the hand comes to the chest, the foot touches the floor at the side of you, right? So you can bring the leg and the foot together. That elevation causes more stress on your inner thighs, and more importantly, your core. Whoo, and breathe. No need to work through speed, friends. In fact, the slower you move, the more control that is required, and the more difficult you can make this for yourself. Breathe. You've got this. Stay steady, in control, three, Two, one. Whew. How'd you do? Yeah, that one's a good one, huh? Rows are next. For the variation here, we'll do a, a row and then a reverse fly. All right, let's begin. Feet hip distance apart. Start with your row and then your reverse fly. Arms push out to the side. Keep a bend in the elbows. Feel that squeeze across your back, chest lifted, core engaged. You can always omit that fly and do these rows nice and strong. Maybe vary it. Turn your palms forward in that row instead. You have 25 seconds to keep working. Rows are great. They work all those awesome muscles in the back, as well as the bicep muscles in your arms. Ah, oh, yeah. Less than 10 seconds. Come on, folks, let's do it. So strong. Three, two, one. All right. For our last block um, exercise in this block, you'll need both weights. So if you have two light weights, grab those. 
This was that overhead tricep. Take a split stance, right foot forward. Bring your arms up. Go ahead, begin with the tricep. Now, add a drop in the elbows and then a push up, right? So we're adding a shoulder press. Elbows point down towards your hips. And those weights still come back up and over the back of your head, aiming the weights towards your shoulder blades. <sighs> Breathe here. Keep the core engaged, eyes are forward. You can switch out your feet if you took that split stance. I prefer the split stance myself where one foot is forward from the other when the weights are overhead. For me, I feel more support in my lower back. Draw the core in. How about 10 more seconds of this really awesome shoulder and arm strengthening exercise? How are you doing? You got three, two, one. Let it go. Woo. Shake it out, friends. 25 seconds here to rest and then come on down. We're gonna be here on the mat. You'll need your dumbbells. So bring those here and have them at the sides for the get-go. We'll do, we'll start here with rotating T-planks. All right, in three, two, hands under shoulders. Get into a plank position. Turn your body to the left, reach your left hand up, and then come back to the center. Turn your body to the right, right hand up, come back to the center. Modification, both knees come down. When you turn to the left, the left knee lifts, and then you put it back down. When you turn to the right, the right knee lifts. We keep one knee grounded in the modified variation. All right, you can do this. Just find those spaces that fit you best. Three, two, one, release. Shake out the wrists, friends. A lot of plank and push-up work can really stress those wrists. Come down to your back with your dumbbells. We have chest flies next. Knees bent, feet flat on the floor. Weights over chest. Soften the elbows, stretch the arms open, and then bring the arms right back up over your chest here. Breathe here, friends. Maintain that soft elbow bend. Push your hips down into the floor. Squeeze your shoulder blades against the mat. Relax your grip on the dumbbells. Squeeze all that energy right to the middle of your chest. Breathe here. Three, two, one. Carefully release your dumbbells down and then rotate over to the front side of your body. From here, chest all the way down. Keep your feet hip distance apart. Hands under shoulders, chin to the floor. Lift your chin, lift your shoulders, keep your feet down and then lower. Repeat. So, upper back extensions. We want to keep the hips grounded, the legs straight, and the feet down. Squeeze the shoulder blades as you lift, look slightly forward. Modification here, you can lift one arm at a time on your hands and knees, okay? If laying on the belly is not working for you. Three, two, one. Awesome job, guys. Look at that. We're closing in on a home stretch. We're starting back at the top of this block of work, rotating T-planks. The variation here is to add a hip dip when you're in the side plank. So go ahead and start in your plank position. Listen here for the cue. Turn to your left, right arm goes up, or excuse me, left arm goes up, Le right hip drops down and touches. Switch. Right arm up, left hip drops down and up. If you're on your knees, it's the same principle. Check it. Knees down, right arm up, right knee up. Drop the left hip, lift. Come back to the center. It's a little bit of coordination, so it's vitally important that you do not rush, right? You wanna work through each movement, each angle, each transition. If you're on your feet, flex your ankles to help support as you turn side to side. Oh yeah, nice and strong, friends. Draw that waistline in, stay strong. You've got it. Three, two, one. Awesome. How are those wrists feeling? Right? All right. 
Come on down to the mat. Chest fly. We're adding in a tricep press. All right. Dumbbells overhead. Feet flat. Open the arms into your chest fly. Stop with your arms overhead here. Pull the elbows down to your side. Press your arms straight up. Repeat. Stretch the arms open. And then bend the elbows down to your side. When the elbows come down to the side, you want to slide your arm against your rib cage. It's very close. It's a close grip press. Focuses on the tricep and the front part of your shoulder, the interior deltoid. Work in the chest. Work in the tops of the shoulders. Work in the triceps. Good work here, friends. And breathe. You got it. Work through this entire s interval. Squeeze out work out of every single second. Control. Three, two, one. Nicely done. Those come back down. Back onto the front side of the body. Check this out. So we're doing those back extensions, but this time, you have the option to bring your arms forward out on the shape of a Y. Keep your feet down. We lift here, lift it up, let your hands touch, then lower down. Lift, touch the hands together, open them up, and then lower down. The trick here is to keep the pelvis and the feet down on your mat. You're squeezing the extensor muscles in your spine to lift the weight of your torso. That variation, if you need it, right? Hands and knees, lift one arm, move it out to the side at a time, right? Because you can't really lift both arms <laughs> and hover here. Working the upper back when we move the arms. Keep the abs pulled in tight. Eyes look down between your fingers. Come on, friends, we're almost there. Breathe. Three, two, one. You did it. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Push yourself back. Bend your knees. Ease your way back into this nice stretch here. Breathe. You can separate your knees to give yourself a little bit more space. Maybe let your hips drop down a little further back. Really nice job. Lift your head, crawl your hands towards the right side stretch here. Drop your shoulders down, feel that against the side of your body. Come back to the center and take it the other direction. We're gonna stretch it out here for the next three minutes. Come to the front, slide forward. Really nice, bring the hips down, elbows down, lift the chest, roll the shoulders back. Yes, look over your left hip, or your left shoulder, excuse me, and then your right. Really nice job. Come back to the center. Bring your hands on the shoulders. Push yourself back. And then make your way up to your feet. Take your time. Let's move our things out of the way so we don't step on them. And once you're up here, stand up nice and tall. Shoulders back. Shake out those wrists. Good. Stretch up high. Inhale. Exhale. Bring it down. Do that again. Inhale. Take it up. Exhale. This time when you reach up, hold. Grab your right wrist, lean to the left, push your right hip open. Good. Release it, release it, shake, and grab the left wrist. Push, take that side stretch. Back to the center here. Really good, turn the thumbs open, push them back, open the chest, and drop the shoulders down. Breathe in. Awesome work. Good. Draw the right arm across your body here and hold. Stand up nice and tall. Drop the shoulders down. Breathe in. Exhale, release that elbow. Bring it overhead. Rest your hand on your shoulder. Keep your chin lifted. Pull gently here. Find that stretch on the right tricep. And then release it here. Shake it out. Bring the left arm across. You can support either above the elbow or just past it. Whatever feels best on that joint, right? That's really the name of the game. What feels best? What allows you to work in a manner that allows you to work, right? We all have different things we're dealing with, right? Whether it's old injuries that are coming back, 
recovering from something, starting, taking variations, whatever it is. Know that you are not alone. And that's really why we're all here, right? Round the back, tuck the chin, separate the shoulders behind you. Feel that nice stress across your back. Breathe in. Exhale here, Whoo. bend the knees. Bring the elbows to the inside of your knees. And I want you to push your knees in, your elbows out, lift your chin forward, drop your tailbone down behind you. Good. And then round forward, drop your head, slowly roll up here, articulate through the spine, shoulders back. Awesome job, everyone. Take a breath in. At the top, open the elbows, lift your chest, squeeze your upper back. Inhale, stretch up high. Exhale, slowly release the arms down. And give yourself a pat on the back. A little air high five for me. Thanks for coming and working out with me today um, and joining me in today's Flash Upper Body class. I look forward to working out with you again soon. Drink some water, take more stretches if you like. And if you feel like you, you need a little bit more, do that. And I will look forward to seeing you in another workout soon. Bye.